I love gardening. Every year I get obsessed with something else and want to focus on growing that one thing. This year's theme is hot peppers. Next year's theme will probably be grains, although that's still up in the air. There's just so much that can be done in the hobby. I've been around gardens for as long as I can remember and still can't get over just how interesting they are. And I'm still learning about all the nuanced topics in the hobby like grafting, exotic fruits, pruning, hybridization, and crossbreeding, just to list a few. But to bring the video back to a broader discussion, here's five reasons that everyone should have a garden. De-stress and relaxation. There are proven links between gardens and improved mental well-being, increased physical activity, and a reduction in social isolation. These benefits scale appropriately to your level of exposure, meaning that if you're actively getting down and dirty in the hobby, you'll get much more out of it than if you only go to visit your local garden every now and then. Honestly, the whole video could just be focused on this one point, but just to briefly go into the specifics, gardening contributes to reducing stress, anxiety, and depression, improving cognition, improving mood, improving sleep, and just generally improving your quality of life. There's just something about how the sun shines through the jaded leaves that for a brief moment makes me forget about life and takes me away. Learn where your food comes from. We've all seen that article that circulates around the internet every year or so, where 7% of Americans think chocolate milk comes from brown cows. Obviously, we're not going to grow a cow in our backyards. But how many people know how eggplants grow? Or the nuances of corn fertilization? Or even about hatching and raising chickens? The point is, we really should go back to our roots. Pun fully intended. I'm not saying that everyone needs to take up farming and know everything. But there are just some basic facts that everyone should know to save you money. It's easy to see this reason and think, oh wow, he's really scraping the bottom of the barrel with this one. After all, why should you go through the trouble of getting your hands dirty for a tomato if you can just go to the store and buy half a dozen for a couple of bucks? I mean, you need to go there anyway, so it's not like you're making a whole separate trip. It just doesn't seem worth it. It's not about saving on a single tomato, but with food prices how they are today, that would be reason enough. It's about saving on tomatoes for the entire season. Plus, if you get into canning, you can extend the savings well into winter and the following spring. Motivate you to eat healthy and to cook at home. Imagine this. You're at home. You're getting a bit peckish. You don't see anything in the fridge. So what do you do? You're probably going to go order something from Grubhub or DoorDash. Now imagine the same scenario. You're still at home and peckish and there's still nothing in the fridge. Only this time, you have a garden that you tend to and there's some squash that looks like it might go bad in a few days. You might still just order something from Uber Eats, but this time when you open your fridge and see that squash you picked last week begin to look very sad and neglected, you'll have to think twice about ordering that takeout. You're much more likely to make something with squash, zucchini, or any other vegetable if you have it available than if you have to go out and buy one. That and the associations between cooking at home and benefits to mental health. Boost your immune system. It's not a surprise that asthma and allergy Prevalence is on the rise in the developed world. The leading theory about why this is is called the hygiene hypothesis. Basically, what it states is that reduced exposure to dirt in the clean environment results in a skewed development of the immune system, which results in an abnormal allergic response to various environmental allergens which are otherwise innocuous. What this means in normal English is that getting your hands down and dirty in the soil, especially at a young age, can be essential for normal development and maintenance of our immune systems. Reason 5a, this really satisfying feeling of washing your hands afterwards. Everyone has their own reasons for getting and staying in the hobby, but I want to hear what you think. If you don't yet garden, have I convinced you? And if you've been gardening for years, how did you get into the hobby and what keeps you in? Make sure you let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed what you saw, why not consider subscribing and hitting the notification icon to stay up to date on when I post. If you change your mind, you can always unsubscribe later. But until next time, bye.